This one here is dedicated to June. It's emotional. She's intelligent, elegant, cause she was ever since. It's evidence on how she read the book of testament. She believe in God and live by the Ten Commandments. And the sixth sense states that she represents the fifth element. When she walked by, man them used to give her bare compliments. She was innocent. But on birth like Eve, she also got tempted by the serpent. So sex was the first thing she ever experiment. She worked as an estate agent in order to pay her rent. Went to view properties from London to Essex to Kent. She was different. She was shy but had confidence. The only thing she liked is she was prone to accidents. She had a beautiful smile but fragile like an ornament. A black essence is no preference. To her life was like a lesson. And she learning like a student so the adolescence. Living the people guessing. June was like a rose that grew from a concrete. She always looked real good from her head to her feet. Raised from a good home, but she had a good future. Now she's in the dark hole when the man starts to abuse her. June was like a rose that grew from a concrete. She always looked real good from her head to her feet. Raised from a good home, so she had a good future. Now she's in the dark hole when the man starts to abuse her. She's addicted to thugs that sold drugs and carry guns. G's that on the run from Babylon. She got used in several occasions, but she didn't learn that she's on a journey of no return. She quit work to help this jerk earn. Plus, she was playing with fire, but in fin she get burned. To a point where her family was getting concerned, cause they ain't seen her in a while. And when they saw her, she was put on a fake smile. Her father knew he had lost a princess. Every time he saw her, she always looking a mess. But she never confessed how a man is treating her, mistreating her, always beating her. She got battered up, bruised up with broken ribs and black eye. Each night she cried out, cause she had no way to hide out. And he threatens to kill her if anybody finds out. June was like a rose that grew from a concrete. She always looked real good from her head to her feet. Raised from a good home, and she had a good future. Now she's in the dark hole when the man starts to abuse her. June was like a rose that grew from a concrete. She always looked real good from her head to her feet. Raised from a good home, so she had a good future. Now she's in the dark hole when the man starts to abuse her. He got her involved in sex trade. Now she's on the streets corner looking to get paid to get laid. What she thought was love now felt like hate. To a point that she wanted to escape, but a man told her. He had given her aid. Now she's softening and flicking herself with a razor blade. She tried to OD by taking pills with vodka with lemonade. Staring at her face, making it look more like a masquerade. She's emotionally drained like Mary Jane. On the day when it was pouring rain, she drove a car, swerving off a lane. Onto a moving train, she was lucky not to die in vain. Now she takes crack cocaine and get the needle into her veins to numb the pain and ease the strain of her brain. This is the dead end that June had to go through. What would you do if the same thing happened to someone you knew? June was like a rose that grew from a concrete. She always looked real good from her head to her feet. Raised from a good home, but she had a good future. Now she's in the dark hole when the man started to abuse her. June was like a rose that grew from a concrete. She always looked real good from her head to her feet. Raised from a good home, so she had a good future. Now she's in the dark hole when the man started to abuse her. I think this situation here is something that goes on behind closed doors. I think we should always be able to speak up so we can help each other in this environment we live in. I hope June's getting better because her family misses her. That's me, I'm out.